Breaking news, the new home market is collapsing in the Florida housing market, and today I'm gonna to share exactly what's going on. Hello friends, my name is Chris Igo, and I remain committed to sharing the truth about what's happening right now in today's housing market, which is not necessarily what you want to hear. But I cannot deny the obvious facts. As of today, at 126 today, another email from another builder, and this one goes out to Pulte Homes. But as of right now, act fast, $10,000 commission bonus at Copperleaf. 10,000 realtor blown, bonus, 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 plus 3% base price commission for cash closing in 2023. So if you can close between now and the end of the year, you're gonna get a $10,000 bonus on top of the 3% that they're offering to pay. And if you've been watching for a while, you know that I've shared for the last few years that when builders tip their hand as to what they are seeing in terms of their own supply and demand or lack thereof, then they are going to be the leading indicator as to what's happening right now in the market. And when they are offering bonuses to real estate agents, I know for certain there are no buyers for their homes, period, end of story. And yet, they're slashing their prices too. This particular home from this particular builder out there in Copperleaf, which is located in Palm City, Florida, is in trouble. There are no buyers for that home. And how do I know? Because they just told us. And Pulte is slashing the price from 1.516 to 1.3294 for cash purchases only for a 2023 closing. And the house is beautiful. It's four bedroom with a den and three and a half baths and a three car garage coming in at right around 3,461 square feet with a preserved view. But buyers in Palm City aren't buying and the builder needs to juice the market. And because the market has been so crazy for so long in every market within Florida, it's highly unusual, at least recently, for a builder to slash home prices. And it's even more unusual for a builder to offer a bonus on top of the commission. But it's only unusual when compared to the recent past. Because prior to COVID and prior to everyone wanting to live in Florida, this was a common practice for every builder. Incentivizing the market with the sale or some sort of incentive is not exactly new. Every business that sells anything does it all the time everywhere. It's just been a while since it's happened in the Florida housing market. And if you happen to watch my last video, I showcased another builder who's doing the exact same thing. And I'll attach that into this video so you can click the link if you want to. And if you find value, please subscribe to the channel and check out my free Patreon, which is down in the links below. Now I've stumbled across something that I'm going to share with you and honestly I was shocked when I figured it out but it's something that you must know so please stick around I'm going to share that here in a second but I want you to know that when mortgage interest rates skyrocketed and when buyers were shocked with these new mortgage interest rates one of our common practices if possible given supply and demand was to negotiate a rate buy down from the seller. And I wish it wasn't actually true, but the reality is there are 90,000 agents in my market. And of those 90,000, only a thousand, or maybe it's two, do 10 deals or more a year. So it wasn't uncommon for me to try and negotiate a rate buy down for my buyers and the agent didn't have a freaking clue what I was talking about. They'd never heard of such a thing. In some instances, they thought it was illegal, which obviously is not true, but I share it because in that market, during that time, agents who could give their buyers a competitive advantage by negotiating down their interest rate as a standard practice were able to lock in a lower interest rate for their clients. And those clients and those buyers and those families were thrilled. And I'm not sharing that to break my arm to pat myself on the back or give myself a cookie. I'm sharing it because it's now industry standard. 
Toll Brothers and other builders like Toll Brothers are already putting that discount, that negotiation, that rate buy down into their terms, into their deals. They must move inventory. They don't want it on their balance sheet and they're terrified that the new home market is collapsing and it is in some markets. But breaking news, Toll Brothers, and I'm reading this verbatim because it just came into my inbox and frankly, it's the thing that triggered me to make this video in the first place. But Toll Brothers, as of today, breaking news, now is the time for your clients to take advantage of a 4.99% first year rate. In parentheses, 7.05% APR. And while it's factually true that mortgage interest rates are coming down, and I'm gonna to get to that in a second here, the fact that the builders are anticipating what the market must have in order to move product tells me they recognize that they are in trouble. And so they're already negotiating against themselves in order to move product. And the number one rule of negotiating is you never negotiate against yourself. But here they are, and please, we don't need to cry Toll Brothers or Pulte a river. They're making money hand over fist and have been for years, but they are anticipating what is yet to come. And yet what they want me to do and they want you to do and they want everybody else to do is invite your buyers to discover exceptional savings now with a below market rate for the life of their loan and additional savings for the first two years of their mortgage. Toll Brothers Mortgage Company is offering an exclusive 2-1 buy down program on their 30 year fixed mortgage for a limited time on homes that close before January 16th of 2024. And the terms of that are 4.99% first year, 5.99% second year, 6.99% years three through 30. And I'm not knocking them for getting in front of the market. I'm sharing it with you because when builders are tipping their hand and telling you that they're having trouble because they're incentivizing the market to buy their product, it tells me there's not much of a market for their product. You better act fast because today I got an email saying Devasta home of the week discounts inside. Veranda Gardens year end savings by Devasta in Port St. Lucie, where you can buy a brand new home with a slash price of 668 for a three bedroom, two and a half, three car garage, which is buttoned up and sexy and ready to be sold. But you can't put lipstick on a pig, even if they dress it up with a promotional interest rate, which is available for some buyers. Ah, I was feeling a little bit parched with a little bit of dry mouth. And let me just address all the comments in the comment section and to some of these subscribers or viewers who are out there. No, I am not trying to qualify for the Faces of Meth website. I had a dermatological procedure to hopefully make me look a little bit better to some of you out there. But I already said you shouldn't put lipstick on a pig. But nonetheless, and not exactly breaking news, the Federal Reserve has decided to hold off on raising interest rates in their latest meeting. And interest rates remain at 5.5% indicating we may have reached the peak in this economic cycle. And maybe we have, and maybe that's not true, but it will be revealed. The pause suggests the next phase could involve interest rate cuts, which seem inevitable. And let's face it, that type of shift towards an easier monetary policy will have significant consequences across various sectors, especially home mortgages, auto loans, Loans, credit card debts, and the broader economy. And while the recent move aligns with what the expectations were, looking ahead, the next Fed Reserve meeting is on January 31st. And I think it's unlikely that they'll cut interest rates then. And it doesn't look like the market's expecting that the Fed pivot and the first rate cut will happen on the March 20th meeting. 
And irrespective of what the market thinks it's going to do in March, the reality of it is the mortgage market got the memo and mortgage interest rates are on the downtick significantly. And the applications to refinance have skyrocketed since this news. And home prices in my markets in Boca Raton, Delray Beach, Boynton Beach, and the surrounding areas have skyrocketed without the rate cuts. You can bet your sweet bippy that once these rate cuts are actually felt in the marketplace, home values are going to skyrocket, which is a reverse market crash. No bueno. Especially if we keep in mind the commercial real estate sector, which has $540 billion of debt maturing in 2024 and 2025, their balance sheets are on the brink. Their balance sheets indicate that they are insolvent and there will be a fire sale in the commercial real estate sector and there already is one, it's just gonna get worse, which is going to require a bailout from the Fed, which is going to precipitate massive changes in the country's balance sheet, but also in the housing market. Shit rolls downhill, my friend, and it's not gonna smell real pretty or, or look real pretty once the volatility really starts to register, and we are in volatility season. And those who cannot cover their debts they can't service their debts, whether it's the government, a corporation, me, you, or Mickey Mouse up in Orlando, if you cannot service your debt, you will lose the asset, you will lose the equity, and the system, and the market, and the thing that we're talking about will collapse in value. And it's guaranteed to happen. It's not if, it's a matter of when. And despite the massive incentives and despite what the builders are doing to tip their hand as to what they see in some of these subprime markets, which are not local, the housing market is about to skyrocket. And if the only thing you care about is what your payment is, well, those payments might be a little bit lower because interest rates have come down, but you're going to pay a premium for the home. Because the Fed's news announcement just told me the new frenzy already started. And if you need help with anything, please reach out because who you hire matters.